I'm Taylor and I am a recent MPH grad from Columbia who is eventually going to pursue medical school. And by far, the most common question that I get asked is if someone should take a gap year or two or three or four, if they should get a master's, if they should get an MPH, if they should do X, Y, Z thing before applying to medical school. So if those are the kinds of questions that you have, then this is the video for you. I want to sort of generally go over some of the reasons why someone might consider taking a gap year and then also talk about some of the things that you can do in your gap year for those various reasons. I will intersperse some of my story and some of my reasonings just in case that resonates with anybody, but I do think that this is a very, very personal decision that you should make based on what is best for you and what you feel in your gut you should do. Following the same steps as somebody else is not going to get you into medical school. Following your gut and following your passion will. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so I think that one of maybe the most common reasons why people might consider taking a gap year before med school is because they wanna improve their GPA. So if that's the reason why you're considering taking a gap year, then I suggest that you either use that year or two, et cetera, to retake some of your bachelor level courses or take an official post back program or a special master's program, sometimes called an SMP. So why I say this is when you apply to medical school, your undergrad GPA is still separated from your graduate GPA on your application. And when you are going when your application is going through the initial sort of computer screening process that all med schools deny that your application goes through but it totally has to that screening process is looking at your undergrad gpa and your undergrad gpa only so taking a getting an mph or doing another an mba an mba or like some other type of master's program that's not really going to it's not going to affect your gpa it's not going to help in that initial screening process it's only going to help you once your application is physically in someone's hands being looked at by human eyeballs and so with that in mind i think that's a very 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 important misconception and thing to remember if you're considering taking a gap year for your GPA only. I get a lot of questions about going and getting your MPH to improve your GPA for med school and that's just unfortunately not how it works. Um, your MPH can be great for other reasons, we'll get to that in a minute, but if GPA is your thing, your concern, your pain point on your application that you're worried about, then I would definitely look into other options. Um, like I said, like a special master's or a post back program, et cetera, because that will help your GPA a little bit more. All right. A second reason that people might be interested in taking a gap year is to gain experience. So with that one, the world is your oyster, I feel like. If you want to gain research experience, use your year or two getting research experience. If you want to gain clinical experience, use your year or two scribing or becoming an EMT or working at the front desk of an office, things like that, go for it. If you want to gain experience in another area that you might be passionate about, then do that just make sure when you're doing it that you're thinking in the back of your mind how am i going to spin this to medical schools that like i'm still in love with medicine i still want to be a doctor i can't imagine doing anything else i might have other passions but this is what i want to do at the end of the day which brings me to kind of the third point of why someone might not want to go straight into medical school. And it might be that they want to explore other passions. And this was a big, big, big factor for me. So while I am and have been sure that I want to go to medical school and that I want to be a physician for some time now, I still knew that I had 
a passion for things that weren't necessarily going to be taught during my med school curriculum, nor were taught in uh, my undergrad classes. And so that's why I decided to do the MPH. I did public health research in undergrad and I fell in love with public health. I personally am of the mindset that you are a better clinician if you understand population level health and social determinants of health and all those big bird's eye view factors that go into caring for someone and improving the health of communities that you might not necessarily get in med school. Uh, some med schools are moving more towards curriculums that do teach those kinds of things and do support like a public health mindset, but I knew that I had a passion for public health and wanted to pursue that before I went to med school, which is another question I get is like why I didn't do a dual degree program. Um, if you guys want to see a video on that, I can do that as well. Leave me a comment, like, etc. But back to back to the, the main point here. Um, if you want to explore something that is a little bit outside of medicine or a lot outside of medicine and whether that's because you aren't sure if you want to go to medical school or you are sure but you just know that you love this thing and you want to explore that too then personally i say do it because one it makes you a more interesting applicant for medical school it gives you something to talk about it gives you life experience to talk about and that's something that someone straight through undergrad applying to med school when they're what like 2021 might not necessarily have. They might, but they might not. And I think that gives some intrigue to your application, which is always, always, always what you want, is you want to stand out. You want something that is unique to you. And so if you have passions that are unique to you and you want to take a gap year to explore those, I definitely think you should go for it, whether it's a master's in a slightly different subject or it is working in some other area or anything, anything you can think of. The world is your oyster. Like I said, I know I already said that, but I definitely think you should always go for things like that. Um, there are obviously some pros and cons. Um, you know, if you take a break from school or take a break from like hard science school and go pursue something else that you're passionate about. I think that it can help you later when you're in med school, avoid burnout. Um, you know, when you're in your first year and you're taking those biochem exams, you're gonna be like, wow, I'm so excited to be back in school and back doing science and back doing stuff that I love, even if you don't entirely love biochem. But, and all these other students who have come straight through are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for four years straight and I'm just keeping going and the biochem never ends and you're gonna be like welcome back biochem or at least that's what I'd like to think but yeah I think that it can definitely be a good thing if that's what you think is right for you um, obviously there's some cons you know if you are just pursuing another master's program there are financial cons if you are someone who's worried about what age you might be when you're done with your medical training if you're worried about you know like starting families and things like that obviously those are all things to think about when deciding to take a gap year but i am of the mindset i have obviously worried about all of these things too but i have obviously made the decision to pursue my passions and so obviously you know my thoughts on it but I'd love to hear all of your thoughts on exploring passions and things like that so leave them down in the comments but finally I have one last reason and a couple more points about why someone might want to take a gap year and this has been another really big factor for me and that fourth reason is for financial logistic timing all those adult type reasons that you might not be ready to apply to medical school yet. Um, the medical school application process is very time intensive. It's very expensive. It is a whole stage of your life for about a year. So 
I personally have not been in the position in my life yet to do that <laughs> and have had other passions that I have wanted to explore during the time that I wasn't ready to apply to medical school yet. And I don't think that logistic reasons should draw away from your passion for medicine, but I do think that it is a completely, completely reasonable reason to take a gap year, to work and save up money, to prepare your application, whether it is asking for letters of rec, whether it is gaining experience like we already talked about, whether it's studying for your MCAT and making sure that you have enough time to properly do that because your MCAT is one of the top two biggest parts of your med school application, unfortunately. So I think that I've covered some of the top reasons that people might consider taking a gap year or two or pursuing a master's degree before med school. And I think that you just always have to weigh like the opportunity cost of anything that you're going to do. So if you're if you want to pursue another um, or a master's degree before you go to medical school, I would just consider, you know, what else you could be doing to prepare yourself. What actual monetary costs are you maybe losing out on if you're taking out more student loans to go through your master's program and things like that. I think there are a hundred million pros and cons for each individual person for each individual path. And I hope that this can be helpful for some of you guys working on deciding what exactly that path is for you. I hope I've answered some of those questions that you guys have had. And I hope it was helpful. If anybody else out there has also taken a gap year, please comment down below and let me know why you thought it was a, like why you took a gap year and why you have benefited from it and if you're in med school and you've taken a gap year let us know how that went how admissions committees viewed it i have heard admissions committees viewing gap years quite fondly in the right circumstances for the right person so uh, let us know how that went if any of you guys are out there and as always i will see you all next week